Hi, hopefully this video helps you. Um, this video is for anyone with the Lenox SL280 uh, HVAC system. Uh, over the life of it, you'll typically hit uh, error codes uh, for the uh, the low uh, or the high pressure switch uh, fail to open or close. Uh, typically, there are error codes 2-2, 229, 227, uh, 223, things like that. And what that typically means is uh, this uh, low pressure switch here, uh, this guy is not getting either it's malfunction or it's not getting the, uh, uh, the pressure coming through it, air coming through it. So the typical things you'll find uh, online is that this tube is blocked. So you just, you know, open the tubes from both of these sides, uh, blow into it, clean it up, uh, you know, uh, to see if that has been clogged. The second troubleshooting step is you leave the tube plugged in here, just open it from the other side and blow and you can hear like a, a little bit of a small marble or something shaking in there, you know, that, that's the contacts uh, touching or not with the air. So, you know, that sort of gives you an idea if that's working or not. This rarely fails, right? So, but that's where the error code is. In my case, you know, I researched, I couldn't find the problem, but uh, you know, I, I paid for a service visit. The guy came in two minutes, he was done. Literally, the thing that I missed was when you open this vent, this is where the motor is, you know, blowing the air out of the house. Typically what happens is this particular model apparently has a problem where uh, it'll, uh, it'll the, the blower or something, there'll be some debris where because of the, you know, as it's blowing and air is coming in, it'll clog up this tiny, tiny port there. It, it's a very small uh, port, uh, port where the air is blowing. And so literally there was stuff clogged inside. So the air couldn't go to the switch. And so, you know, that was the malfunctional thing. So uh, the malfunction uh, error code. So literally what the guy did is he opened this up, looked at it with the torch, with a flashlight. He saw it was clogged in. Uh, he took a little pin, you know, pushed the, the debris out. And then with this, he just blew into it to just to clear that. And once it was cleared, you plug it back in, you start the HVAC, and then it'll like, you know, blow all of that debris away and boom. Just like that, your HVAC is back in business. So I hope this uh, video helps anyone else with the Lenox uh, uh, system, HVAC system. Mine is the SL280. I'm assuming the same issue can happen in other Lenox systems as well. Apparently it's a very common thing. And I was surprised uh, I couldn't find a video that spoke about this. Uh, otherwise I would have helped solve it myself. Uh, I would have been able to fix it myself. So hopefully this helps someone else. Cheers.